fuck is mental health? It becomes one of these questions where it's like, what, what do you say? Kind of, it is what it sounds like, your mental health. Just like if you have physical health, if you get a cut or a bruise or a sickness, it's just like, you know, is your mind okay? Your mind is the foundation of everything. Really just the sense of one's overall mental well-being. It encompasses our emotions and how we navigate through life and how we are able to foster and formulate interactions, relationships with folks. I remember the moment that I really started taking my mental health serious. I learned that mental health is a very, very, very essential part to our lives and I feel like without attention being brought to where we are mentally, you really can't progress. I've experienced trauma ever since I could remember. Uh, my first physical trauma being at the age of eight years old by the hands of my mother's boyfriend. Tend not to get those conversations in our communities, just like, you know, he's acting up. So 12 and 13, I feel like that's a time around where you're trying to figure yourself out and you're trying to figure out who you are in life. What happens a lot of times within the black community, we tell ourselves that nobody understands what we're going through, uh, nobody can relate to what I'm going through, and so we choose not to communicate with the people that are in our lives about what we're going through. And uh, <laughs> you can't heal what you don't reveal. I'm the type of person who I keep everything in-house, I keep everything inside of me, and I don't like to be vulnerable. I always equated vulnerability to a weakness. And I'm the most loving person that you may want to meet. But then I have these moments where it's just like, I got nothing else for you. Get the fuck out. And that's what kind of like I say to myself. And that's what pushes you to the place of wanting to kill yourself and do all of these things. It's like, I got nothing else left. Nothing for me anymore. There's nothing. So I'd rather not be here. In 2014, I really was like, Anika, you're hella depressed. Like, you're going through all of these things and you're isolating yourself from folks. So. Let's take some time to understand what's going on inside. I had no structure. And I broke down. I was drinking heavily. Try weed for the first time. I really took the time to be introspective and analyze my behaviors and I started making connections to my previous experiences and giving reason to why I behave the way I do, why I think the way I do, why I see things the way I do. I have to constantly tell myself, pick up the phone and call somebody. Like if I get into a place where I'm really feeling depressed, really feeling alone, really feeling like the only thing I have spinning in my mind is negative thoughts. I have to really, you know, condition myself to say, Kali, you have great people in your life who want to be there for you. Everyone is a support system. You know, I would actually probably identify myself much as a loner, more so than anything else, but even still, like, you need to have one, two, or three people that you can go to. Everybody needs somebody. Even if it's like, I can't even communicate to you what I'm going through, I just need you to be in this space with me. I'm afraid to speak to the people who I care about most. I'm afraid of what they're gonna think about me. We need like those communities and those, you know, forums where we can get together, talk, deliberate. You know, what do you feel about this? What do you think about this? I feel like there could be more marketing as far as government issues being put out there. And you see these raw, authentic tobacco signs, but you don't see about mental health. When in reality, our world's kind of going crazy because it's a lack of attention to the topic. the genocide and brutality against black bodies that really has impacted me. This new generation and wave of folks are very introspective and I think that folks really want to heal and are figuring out ways in which to heal. Definitely healing today.